What is the next most important one or two things for you and your clients right now? Well, I think the thing that really hangs over as a cloud um, going forward is what's happening in Europe, the slowdown that's taking place. You have Italy in recession, Germany very close to recession, and uh, you have Brexit coming up, which, you know, less than two months out, there's just a report that says that, uh, uh, that Britain is really completely unprepared for a no-deal Brexit. Now, I think the most likely outcome, therefore, is that they kick the can down the road, that they actually delay Brexit. Nobody wants to say that right now because it's politically toxic to say, but I think that's the most likely outcome. So in the, in the weeks ahead, um, I think that there's going to be some news out of Europe that, that uh, keeps people nervous about markets going forward, even though we have seen um, some positive news or at least some relief some, some, from some of the fears that we had in December. We had a pretty good start to the year. I mean, it's been, been very solid. We're seeing the Russell 2000, the small caps, up more than 11%. The Dow Jones Industrial Average up 7%. The S&P up 8 That's a pretty good January. Absolutely. And a lot of the, the, the losses in, in December have basically come back. Uh, the question is whether you can get back to the previous highs. And I think it's going to be that that is going to require um, markets to sort of earn their way out. Um, but a lot of, look, a lot of the fears that people were worried about in December have at least receded. The, the idea that we were stand, the U.S. is standing on the brink of a recession, I don't think that held much water. But now that's become clear that that's not true with the goods jobs data and things like that. Uh, there was a lot of concern that the Fed was going to push the U.S. Uh, into recession by raising too aggressively. The Fed has sent signals that it is not going to do that. And then uh, there was a lot of worry about the imminence of uh, more tariffs. And while I think we're quite a bit of ways from having a deal with China, uh, the two sides are talking now and they're not escalating. And I think that's a, you know, all those three things uh, that had markets really concerned in December have at least seen some relief. Someone said to you, Patrick, make the bull case for the market this year. What's the single best thing this equity market has going for it right now? Don't say Tom Brady. Continued earnings growth. Um, it'll be slower than last year for a whole bunch of different reasons, but uh, not, not negative. I mean, unless some things change, uh, we're going to see continued positive growth. And, and given that, uh, we, we are at much lower valuations than we saw at the peak of last year. And so uh, this market has, has the ability to creep its way forward. I don't think you're going to see a big surge. I think it's going to have to demonstrate that those earnings really are there. And there are going to be things like Europe that rattle people's cages. But, uh, you know, slow and steady progress is, is better than leaping ahead and then falling, falling back.